This is another suturing model. And this is nice because it has a feature on it that replicates tissue with a lot of tension on it. And you might encounter this when spaying a dog uh, and ligating the ovarian pedicle that has a lot of fat and a lot of tissue in it. When I ligate, I'm going to place my needle holder across the tissue. I'm going to grasp my suture and pull it across like that. Now if I place a simple throw and cinch it down, it's going to spring right back open again. So we need an alternative. Sometimes a surgeon's throw or a surgeon's knot will work. So with a, with a surgeon's knot, we wrap the suture around the needle holder twice and we cinch it down. This may be adequate depending on the amount of tension. As you can see here, that is not adequate. If we move this down into less tension, that's still going to be inadequate. So we need an alternative. So we're going to use a Miller's knot. So with a Miller's knot, you pass your suture across the tissue like we have here. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it around again. And as I pass it, I'm going to lay it across my hand like this. So that when I'm done, I now have three strands of suture. I'm going to take my thumb, I'm going to go, I'm going to make it meet my index finger right here. Just make it meet that. I'm going to flip everything from my index finger onto my thumb, like that. I'm going to take this loose end, I'm going to pinch it between my thumb and my finger. I'm going to pull it through like that. And now I have the first part of my Miller's knot. I pull this down, I pull it tight, cinch it down, and it stays there. And now I put a simple throw on top of that. And now that's a complete Miller's knot. On top of that, you can add simple square knots for added security.